Welcome to our review on the noble gases. When we're considering where we will find the noble gases, they're on the far right hand side and they're known as group zero on the periodic table. So that's our helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. The reason that they're referred to as the noble gases is because they're not reactive. They're very unreactive. So they don't really take part in many chemical reactions at all. A couple of key properties that we need to remember about our noble gases. Firstly, they're non-metals, as evidenced by the fact they're on the right hand side of the periodic table. As their name suggests, they are all gas at room temperature and they've all got a full outer shell of electrons, which is the reason why they're unreactive, because if the outer shell is full, then they will not react with other things. So a phrase that we will see associated with the noble gases is monatomic. So all this tells us is that they're single atoms. So mono meaning one, so monatomic, one atom. What we see there is that these single atoms have very weak forces of attraction between them. So that means they've got low boiling points because the forces of attraction between those atoms are very easily overcome. Last thing we need to consider are some of the trends or patterns that we see as you go down group zero. Firstly, the attractive forces between the atoms get stronger the further down the group you go. Secondly, their boiling point increases. And finally, their density increases. So just like we've seen with the alkali metals and the halogens, again, one of these questions they could give you is to predict the missing part from a table of data or a graph. So remember what I've said previously, don't get careless and just write down something that's between the two numbers. Actually work out the differences and then apply that same difference to your missing one to make it accurate. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now recall and explain the properties of our group zero elements. You can explain the lack of reactivity of them and predict properties when you're given some tables with trends in there.